Welcome, everyone, to uh, Facilitating Online and Blended Courses. Um, my name is Andrew Moore. I am going to be the facilitator for this course. But um, I think it's important that you appreciate that it is a um, what we call a bichronous course. That means there are a few sessions which are synchronous, like this Zoom meeting at the moment. But the vast majority of the course requires you in your own time to work through the asynchronous component of the course. All right. So there is um, all the materials are laid out in the platform. And, um, the, uh, we expect you to go through uh, and uh, complete all the various tasks. All right. So if you have a look at the screen at the moment, um, I'm hoping you can see the, um, the Moodle platform. The Moodle platform isn't on your LMS. It's actually sitting on Cole's Commonwealth of Learning's LMS. They want us to do it there. I think they want the traffic to their site. Um, I don't really see what the advantage is for you guys. But anyway, it is all there. And at the end, we'll make a copy of this course and we'll stick it on your LMS. So in the future, you can use it. All right. However, um, uh, so what are we going to be doing? So if we come into um, the various components of the course, you can see that we've got um, a little welcome for you. It explains the schedule. The schedule is going to run over um three weeks and um if you want to be to keep up with the facilitation then we give you a suggested um, schedule so that you can see when we are facilitating which sections however the beauty of the online course is that you can go at your own pace if you find we're going too slow you can push ahead if you're finding that you have other responsibilities and you're beginning to fall behind that's not a train smash although we would encourage you to keep up with with the um, suggested approach. So what are we going to be doing in this course? So there's our course objectives. We want you to appreciate that facilitation is a special skill. We want you to be able to use that skill when you are facilitating your own course. Uh, learning online is actually a very difficult environment. You, you've already appreciated from building your own course that you understand that it's a strange beast Quite a lot of the study is done in the student's own time, in their own mind, in their own pace, in their own environment. And um, there is the, the danger that they feel isolated and lost. So we're going to encourage you to appreciate the finer nuances of facilitation and how to make sure that people are following. Uh, we're going to encourage you to facilitate online learning um, we're going to encourage you to manage and administer your course. We're going to encourage you to try and nurture a virtual um, a social environment where people feel comfortable learning. We are going to uh, provide first level technical assistance. So we're going to ask you to um, uh, troubleshoot things like uh, connectivity issues like I'm having now, uh, people logging in, losing passwords, etc. We're going to ask you to, to offer at least the first level of support. We want you to um, also be able to uh, use a WhatsApp group for your own course. We're trying to model that as well. You'll see that our WhatsApp group is quite busy at the moment, but it is just the usual suspects, about 10 people who are stuck in at the moment. I'm a bit worried about the other 21. Where are they? What are they up to? Why are they not involved? Um, so I'm going to have to follow up and you will have to do something similar for your course. Uh, and finally, uh, when you have these Zoom sessions, how can you make them exciting and interesting? We're going to uh, experiment with a few different ways that you can do that as well. All right. So what is our um, a training agenda? So if you look at the study guide, you can see we've got it all laid out here. So you can see yesterday was our getting started day. We tried to rah-rah you along in the announcements, the Moodle announcements, and in the um, the WhatsApp group, tried to get you guys to introduce yourself and also to feel comfortable that you can log in. At the moment, I'm a little worried. I counted logins before the, the session. Only seven people have accessed the course so far, which is very worrying. So I'm going to be start chasing down people and saying, Oi, what's going on? Are you part of this? 
or are you not? So part of your job as a facilitator, you'll see, is to be the policeman and to try and keep it all on track. Here, uh, Tuesday, the 15th of June, you can see here's our synchronous session. Um, but there's also a forum that we want you to engage with today. So can you uh, make sure that you follow the activity list? We try and suggest what should be done on what day so that you don't fall too far behind. You see tomorrow we've got another forum. We've got some choices for you to make, like a poll. Um, uh, on Thursday, there are, uh, there's an assignment. We want you to prepare a little PowerPoint presentation. We want you uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and next Monday. There Again, there's um, a little forum for you to, to chat in. And we've got another Zoom meeting on, oh, it's supposed to be Wednesday. It's wrong. It's actually next Wednesday. It's here. It's supposed to be the 23rd. Sorry, I'll correct this document. It's an old one. Uh, so we're going to meet again next Wednesday. So Tuesday, and then we're going to have another uh, meeting in a week in one day. So the next Zoom session will be on Wednesday, the 23rd, and the following will be on Wednesday, the 30th. All right. So we're going to meet each Wednesday. Today is, I know today is, um, you've got other commitments with management. Um, so um, that's why we're squeezing it in tomorrow is no good for me uh, and so on. So that's why we're meeting today. So have a look at that and make sure that you're up to date with the um, the schedule and then make sure that you feel comfortable with these various um, uh, sections. So you see week one, we got a welcome, we got a section on what is facilitation and the roles and responsibility and then supporting online learning. So week one's an important week. So please make sure that you get involved. Um, week two is looking at nurturing social relations, managing and administering your course. So um, that's the pressure is a little bit less intense in week two, but then in week three, it does, it's another busy week. All right, technical support, how to um, offer synchronous facilitation techniques, that's web, web stuff and so on. And then also to uh, there's an evaluation, uh, etc. All right. So please appreciate the model. The model is I'm not going to hold your hand all the time. I'm going to meet you every week and then try and uh, help with any troubleshooting. All right. So keep that, that in mind. So then you might say, well, who the hell are you? All right. So there's also a little section down here on know your facilitator. This is me. Okay, and to be honest, I'm going to play the video because that's probably the easiest way to do it. Let me know if you can hear it. If you can't, then uh, we'll have to find another way to do it. Hello, my name is Andrew Moore. I'm going to be your facilitator for this course. Uh, I am a consultant based in Johannesburg. Uh, the little consultancy is called Neil Butcher and Associates, and I've been approached by the Commonwealth of Learning to help facilitate this course on facilitating blended learning courses. I have worked previously in Kenya. Uh, some years ago, I was working with UNESCO and the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, and we helped build a teacher ICT integration course called the Kenyan ICT CFTA. Uh, so I have great memories. I worked predominantly in the Nairobi area, but I did get down to the coast uh, on one occasion and up to Eldoret uh, on another. So um, this is a poor second to actually facilitate online. I would love to actually be there, but um, for now, that's the best we can do under these COVID-19 pandemic conditions. All right, but it's not a bad thing. Um, I'm going to try and model what is good online facilitation technique. And obviously, the best way to do it is online. So what are we going to cover? Uh, we will cover uh, what is facilitation? How does it differ from other ways of providing support? Uh, what are the roles and responsibilities of a good online facilitator? Uh, and then we're going to look at specific duties that you have to perform. So the first one is to support online learning, perhaps unsurprisingly, but we'll look at actual practical tips and techniques in order for you to help people study online using the learner management system. 
Uh, we're also going to look at ways that you can help nurture and create a social presence, uh, social relationships between the various participants in your course. Um, and the third hat or responsibility that you will have will be to manage and administer. So we'll show you how to run your course behind the scenes, make sure that all the things are happening. And fourthly, how to provide technical assistance. Um, especially in the early weeks of your online course, you'll find there are lots of technical issues and will give you first level skills so that you can troubleshoot some of those. In this day and age, there's also now a lot of training happening using synchronous technologies like Zoom and MS Teams. So we'll also have a section whereby we'll show you how to run a good synchronous online session so that people are engaged, interested, and uh, get the most out of those uh, opportunities when you can meet in real time online. All right, so enough about me and enough about the course. Let's do it. All right, so um, that's me. Uh, any questions or queries about the course, what we're trying to achieve? and what my role in all that might be. Uh, you can either put it in the chat, put your query in the chat, or you can put your hand up and we'll uh, get you to unmute your mic. All right, I see. Let's go with, I'm going to ask someone then. So Mercy has arrived since uh, we've started. Mercy, do you have any queries or questions about what we are trying to achieve in this course? You can unmute your mic and then you can, we can hear you. No, I don't have any question. I'm okay. Mercy, are you on the WhatsApp group? Are you receiving yes. communications? Yes, I just saw the communication. I will respond in the course of the day. All right. So one of the things we're doing in the WhatsApp group is we would like you to post a photograph of something that you love doing. All right. So it could be your kids. It could be your gardening. It could be uh, we've we've learned from I think it was Joseph that um, he likes to farm. So what is it that you like to do? Can you put it in the WhatsApp group so we can begin to get to know you better? All right. I'm glad things are going all right. Let's. Uh, and it's good to see you there. Oh, yeah. You got all your files above your head. Looks like lots of work. All right. <laughs> cool. Uh, Lillian, any queries, questions? No questions so far. All right, so Lillian. Far, so good. I'm glad to be here. That's good. Uh, what is your course yes. that you have created and that you will be facilitating? My course is uh, uh, database systems. Mm -hmm. That is great. Database systems. And uh, how many students will you have in that course? Do you have any idea? Okay, no, not the, the current group. They are around um, 40. 40. Yes. All right. 40 is a nice size. A little busy. I would say anything from yeah. 50 above is, is big. Is you, you're, you've got to work hard with a group of 40. However, uh, if you design mm -hmm. your course cleverly, you can take much bigger classes online. So um, keep oh, that in mind okay. then. Lillian, that sounds good. Yeah. That sounds exciting. Let's ask Dominique. There we go. I'm seeing everything. All right. Uh, you, can you put in the chat, please? We're not hearing you very well. What is your course and how many students? In fact, let's ask everyone to do that so that I get a better idea. If we go through one at a time, it'll take forever. Jump, everyone. There we go. Uh, Salman said uh, that his course is called Fundamentals of Information Technology, and he's got 200 people. All right. So I would say that for his course, he will need a team of facilitators. I don't think one person can effectively um, engage all 200 people uh, at the same time. So you can have Zoom meetings like this with all 200. Um, uh, but um, in terms of the forum discussions and that, you might need a little team of tutors to help you uh, make sure that everyone is engaged and working properly. All right. So 200 is a big class, especially for online. Um, there are classes which are much bigger, but 200 is a lot of work. All right. Where's the rest? Here we go. Eugene is entrepreneurship. His is a course size of 16. That's beautiful. 16 is really nice. You get to know everyone well 
Uh, that's great. Um, we've got Joseph. He says his course is human resource management. We don't know how many people yet. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Joseph, can you tell us how many people? Uh, Ashirandula is data analysis techniques, 50 students. 50 is very doable. All right, so that's nice. Uh, uh, 203. Joseph says 203 people involved in his course. Wow. All right. You've also got a lot of work to do and maybe might benefit from a little team of tutors, maybe two or three to help you. Um, otherwise, you'll get run ragged. All right. The problem with online learning is that it is technically quite demanding. Um, it's in, in many ways, uh, blended learning is the best model of all, but it does mean that when they're online, they will need some type of support, especially in the early days. People feel very vulnerable. All right. Uh, any other uh, contributions? Uh, Nerwin, have you? Oh, here we go. Obed, system analysis and design, 12 students. Oh, beautiful. All right. That's, that's going to be fun. It's going to be lekker. Um, that's the South Africanism for you. Lekker. All right. Means it's going to be good. All uh, right, Mercy, we've heard from. Uh, uh, so Lillian, we've heard from. Dominique, heard from. Boris, you are you more the um, administrator, uh, or are you also going to be lecturing? Um, the technical personnel, e-learning, right? Not e lecture. So you will be looking after the Moodle for everyone and making sure all the enrollments are done and things like that. Yes, yes. All right. So it's good for the others to know that when we get onto the section on technical assistance, we're going to ask you to appreciate how passwords are done and all that type of thing. But if it gets beyond your ability to support the students, then you can hand it over to Boris and say, Boris, please help. Yeah. All right. So uh, he's, he's your best mate. So get friends with Boris. Boris is your best mate. Very important person. Uh, Nerwin has posted in the chat. He says, principles of purchasing and supplies, BCB. Uh, how many students, Nerwin? All right. Please put it in the chat. Okay, so um, what I wanted to achieve in this meeting was I wanted to just put down the expectations. Um, I'm, I, I've noticed only seven people have got into the Moodle platform. So if you've not already logged in, please, can you check today? Today, you must know that if you have any problems uh, getting into the Coal uh, Learner Management System, um, let me just put the link in the... Let me just come back here. Put the link in the um, WhatsApp group. Uh, is everyone available in the WhatsApp? I'm finding we get a good turnout in the WhatsApp, but it's still not everyone. All right. So I'm going to put this in the chat. Right. So if you have not, um, uh, if you have not yet logged into the Moodle, do it today. I'm watching. I'm trying to see who's in and who's not. And then I'm going to, in the next few days, I'll be chasing up those people who are apparently disinterested. Um, obviously, yeah, your management and Cole want to know if this is worthwhile. And if some of your colleagues don't pitch up, well, then obviously it's not worthwhile. All right. And they need to know that. So uh, keep that in mind. I've also put the link in the WhatsApp group. All right. Um, actually, this one, copy the image. Can you paste it in here? Just check. All right. Um, all right. Here's, remember earlier I was showing you an, an, an incorrect. Let me just show you this. All right. So this one is accurate. This one is correct. So uh, I'll post this in the, or well, this one is the one that was posted in the WhatsApp. All right. So you can go into the WhatsApp and have a look. Um, those are the correct dates for the various sessions. So please make sure that you are following, that you're involved. And yeah, you can uh, contact Boris for any technical issues, but it is the call server. It's not your server. So you can also come to me and say, please sort these things out. All right. 
my 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 objectives of this session was to introduce myself to tell you what our expectations of the course are and then to troubleshoot any issues at the moment i'm picking up that you guys are the hardcore that you uh, are relatively comfortable you've all said you're in the whatsapp that you're on the moodle so cool please chase up your colleagues and say where were you uh, Andrew is taking attendance register and so far he's he's wondering why half the class is missing. All right, cool. Uh, any other queries or questions? Otherwise, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Uh, you're all busy people. I think we could call it today. I will see you in the various forums, but we will reconvene in the Zoom using the same link next week on Wednesday at the same time. If you are happy, you're free to go. Thank you very much.